All right, guys. How you doing? Ryan here again. Uh, today we're going to talk about five mistakes that young photographers are making. So I'm still fairly fresh as well. I'm 26, but I see a lot of these young kids, Instagram obsessed, just starting out in photography, and these are some of the biggest things that I've noticed personally in terms of the things that they're doing that could use some improvement. So. Let's get started. First, not having people skills. So, especially with the younger generation, I'm still fairly young as well, but if you don't know how to talk to people, especially as a portrait photographer, um, it's gonna be hard for you to be successful. It's really not hard to talk to people. Just get off your phone for a minute, practice your people skills. What helped me a lot is if I was at places like the gas station, or at Walmart or wherever and you're waiting in line or you know you see someone doing something cool bring it up to them just just open conversation talk about anything talk about the weather I mean it's it's so easy just re really in the beginning especially just talk about stupid stupid stuff just anything like hey I like the way your bag looks we should blah 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 where'd you get it easy stuff or god it's hot out today just make small talk um, also, get good with being humorous. Something that has helped me the most is being funny. So if you can make someone laugh, first of all, you get that beautiful smiling, laughing picture. It also puts your, um, it, it puts your client at ease. So whoever you're shooting with, it's gonna relax them. For a lot of these people, I mean, even for me, and I'm sure you've experienced it as well, getting in front of a camera is kind of scary the first couple times. And especially if you're shooting with someone that is new and fresh, being able to open them up, small talk with them while you're getting ready, make them laugh, make them comfortable, that is really going to step your game up incredibly. Alright, next, and the second point, and this kind of comes out of the last point as well, is don't be creepy. This is more for the guys out there, but I know too many dudes that are out there on Instagram, they just bought the, the new on sale, they got their T7 or their D3500 and they just start perusing, 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 whatever it is, they start browsing through Instagram, going through the hottest girls they can find, hitting them up in the DMs in the hopes that they get this cute girl home. And so many people I, I know do this with lingerie and boudoir and, um, oh, I'm doing an applied nude shoot. You're not, if, if you want to be a photographer, you're not into to photography to see girls naked. I have done nude photo shoots. I'm sure a lot of people have. I do it for the art form. I want to create beautiful images capturing the feminine form and I see all these dudes with these little cameras around their neck, not to knock having your camera around your neck, but sliding into these girls' DMs is just causing trouble. <laughs> um, this is another good life point in general, not just photography. There are billions of people in this world, and there are so many women that you don't have to mix your business and pleasure. I know a lot of people do this in the office. They'll go out there, and try to date these girls that they work with without realizing that there are so many women out there you don't need to mix your business with pleasure. Um, so that's just a big tip for me is be professional. If you're trying to get started as a photographer, don't be weird. You know, be make, make them comfortable. At the end of the day, you want your client to be comfortable. You want to get those beautiful images that come out and just wow people. You do not want to be scaring away um, your potential clients. And it, word spreads fast, you know? If, especially, I know here in Orlando, the modeling group, models know other models. Like, it's not just one model here and one model there. It's, it's generally, people know other people. And so if they hear that you're being a weirdo, all of a sudden you're not gonna be able to get shoots. Or the level of, of talent is gonna start declining because the actual professionals aren't gonna wanna work with a creep. So, um, you know, keep it lighthearted, keep it professional, jump around a little bit, make them comfortable. At the end of the day, you're not there to get anything else out of that shoot other than pictures. 
end of story. All right, next up. Um, don't have a big ego. I see so many guys that don't know which way is up or down on their camera go out to these photo shoots with basic equipment, you know, and that's, again, I'm not knocking basic equipment. It's, you can get beautiful, beautiful images. I started my, my, my you know, photography journey with just a T3. I had 1855 and a 50 millimeter. Anyway, but these guys that show up to either model meetups or even just talking to other photographers out in the field or meeting them out in public, whatever it is, but these guys that don't know what's going on act like they're the next Michelangelo or the next Ansel Adams or whatever it may be and they don't even have that knowledge built up yet and so one of the biggest tips that I have learned just through my experience is you got to be humble you got to be open to hearing critique it's gonna hurt sometimes because you're creating art right and you don't want to hear from other people that your stuff is crap <laughs> um, everyone has to go through that phase no one goes right out of the gate just creating beautiful portraits sure you may have an eye sure people have told you you know may have told you that you're gifted yes run with that but also you have to keep in mind you're just starting out so you need to soak up as much knowledge as possible and to do that you need to be open to criticism and um, you know talking to everybody these old dudes may not seem cool but they've been shooting for 40 50 years they know what they're talking about um, and so, you know, just just be willing and, and ready to receive that knowledge and you're going to go far. You know, find that mentor. Find those people you can shoot with that know more than you and you will really grow quickly. Um, like I always try to tell myself, I always need to be the dumbest guy in the room. If I'm not the dumbest guy in the room, I'm doing something wrong. If I'm the smartest guy in the room, I'm not making progress. So, be dumb, know that you're dumb, and learn and grow, and you'll get somewhere. All right, my next point, um, and I'm still really bad at this, is it's so easy to sit at home and watch YouTube videos like this, and you know, browse forums, and you know, listen to audiobooks, and read, and research, and learn, and not use those skills or sit inside and not go network and I mean you could have the best technique in the universe but if no one knows who you are and no one's met you and you have no network what's the point if you have no one to shoot with what are you really doing you know so you need to get out there get get out of the house get off of YouTube get off of Instagram take you that knowledge and go out there in the real world and use it or else you're gonna go crazy because this is what I did for a couple years is I, I thought I was a professional, I kind of had an ego, I thought I was making progress, but I wasn't shooting enough, I wasn't learning from people, I had no, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> still sick, I had no mentor, I had no network of people to reach out to to get better with, um, and it really hurt me. And so now recently, um, I've been making it a huge point to go out there and meet people, uh, network and just do as much as you can because there there comes a certain point where you kind of start stagnating when you're by yourself and if you're not out there doing stuff you're just gonna be stagnant so I mean it's it's at the end of the day it's it may be hard you may not want to you may be lazy whatever but you got to build these good habits of action taking action is gonna get you to those places where you want to be. You can dream all day long, but to get there, you gotta actually do stuff. So the final point, I see so many people using the next new big Lightroom presets that it's crazy. I mean, you see all these guys, and yes, it is a, it is a step in the right direction. It will help you learn what does what, but you have to actually study it. People that just slap on filters, you're not learning anything. Um, unless you're actually going through what's changing and you can see all the changes and, and you actually look up what these things do, so levels and, and hue and color balance and you know clarity and contrast, saturation, vibrance, 
if, if you don't know what all these are and what all these tools do, like you're not gonna you're not gonna get anywhere. So you need to sit down, learn, and I know I just said get off your butt, but that also means don't just use the crutch forever. Yes, use the filters, learn how they work. At the end of the day, you need to come up with your own style. So that's really the most important. When you look at big time photographers, Instagrams or portfolios or whatever, it's very cohesive. They have a look and that's what people want. So when you get clients that want to hire you as a photographer, they want your look. If you don't have a cohesive look or if you don't have that, that you know, that it factor dialed in, people aren't going to come to you for portraits. So, I mean, and this is something that I'm still working on as well, but develop those editing techniques. Learn what stuff does. Learn how these different dials and meters and, and sliders affect your image, and then create your own. So, I mean, and that's, that's really it at the end of the day, is you want to stand out from the crowd. Follow the lead of other people, and then develop your own look, and then stand out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is a little bit shorter of a video. Hopefully it looks a lot better, sounds better. Um, we'll only get better from here. Uh, I'm gonna plan on, hopefully on Sunday, I'm gonna try to post a shuffle video and start the little dance portion. And I'm also gonna have tutorials with that as well. So I look forward to seeing some of you for that also. It's kind of a little different from the video stuff, but I can probably combine a little bit into the same world. Um, but yeah, so lots of exciting stuff coming up. I'm excited to get this ball rolling. We've got some good momentum going here, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Woo! That next big Photoshop herb. <coughs>